Why are nurses suddenly thinking of Australia? Let's find out. Happy Women's Month, everyone, and welcome to another episode of All About Abroad. This is where we try to answer your questions or concerns about getting a job or getting a license overseas. I'm Carla Flores, and today we're going to talk about a particular country that an increasing number of nurses is trying to apply to. The question that we'll answer today is, why has Australia become a more attractive work destination among Filipino nurses? If you have been regularly checking out your social media since last year, you've probably noticed a renewed interest in Australia as a country of work destination among Filipino nurses. Just like other Western countries, its competitive compensation and benefits, open and liberated culture, and opportunities for permanent residency are quite attractive. For decades, however, its bridging program requirement among Philippine RNs have remarkably discouraged Filipino applicants. This program is composed of nursing courses that the Nursing and Midwifery Board of Australia, or the NMBA, is requiring internationally qualified nurses or midwives, or IQNMs, to take. Basically, they think that IQNMs, just like Philippine RNs, still need this in order for them to be qualified as Australia RNs. Because the bridging program called for additional effort, time, and up to 300,000 peso cost, Filipino nurses simply looked at other Western countries for opportunities. This all changed in March 2020 when the NMBA transitioned to the Outcome-Based Assessment or the OBA pathway for IQNMs. Through this pathway, IQNMs would simply have to pass a computer adaptive test and go through a practical exam for them to become Australian nurses. In short, it made the process very similar to that of the United Kingdoms, which is a huge deal because currently the UK is the most popular work destination among Filipino nurses. The OBA pathway is composed of two stages, namely the Cognitive Assessment Stage and the Behavioral Assessment Stage. In the Cognitive Assessment Stage, nurses must take the National Council Licensure Examination or the NCLEX, a computer-adaptive multiple-choice nursing exam that can be taken in any Pearson View testing center. IQNMs must pass this exam before they move on to the second stage, which is Behavioral Assessment. In the Behavioral Assessment Stage, Nurses must go through the Objective Structured Clinical Examination or the OSCE, an in-person assessment within a clinical simulation environment that's usually conducted in Adelaide, Australia. Once nurses pass this stage, they may already apply for registration with the NMBA. We are happy to announce that Tracker is now offering assistance services for NCLEX Australia. So if you would like to take the first step in becoming a nurse there, come and get in touch with us. We'll make the journey much easier for you. Simply leave a message in any of our social media sites or contact us through these mobile numbers. If you have questions or concerns about overseas employment or licensing that require a good deal of explanation, then please send them in through the link on your screen. ABBA will be answering employment-related questions, whereas Tracker will be answering licensing-related ones. We're also continuously enhancing our content in YouTube, so please do like and subscribe to the All About Abroad YouTube channel so that you're always updated. This has been Carla Flores, and I really do hope to see your Australia application soon. Bye!